Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. You might probably face this issue when you are developing a VR application for any objects that use the custom shaders, you will uh, probably face uh, this type of problem. So let's jump to the problem and then solve it. Okay, so for fixing this type of problem, the first uh, things that we can do is very quick then go to the Oculus and then change this stereo rendering mode from the single pass to multi pass. If you are using the previous versions of the Unity, then you probably find this type of icons and setting in the uh, player. So it, it in the previous versions it was somewhere here in the uh, players. And in the other settings, you will find here. But this version that I am using is 2022, so uh, they just move it here. So then, if I just run it, the application, you will see that now in the right eye, I have also this one, and in the Oculus animation, I have this one. Yes, but this is not optimized and it's very resource intensive so uh, we, we should not change this uh, if we can find other ways then we, we should go for the single pass instance especially for the VR applications so what we can do is uh, uh, I have found a way to basically modify the shaders of this object let's say we have the water here so this is the water and then uh, i'm opening this uh, this script for you to just quickly go over this one so you can see that there are uh, lines of codes here how the, the system works and everything so but the problem here is not for this code but it's from the shader so what I can do is I'm gonna go to the environments water to the shaders code so I'm doubling uh, double click on these shaders and you can see that there is there are some codes for the shader so for people like me that don't have any background in the shader uh, programming so i'm um, just showing you that i have found this one which is the update main vertex shader function so this uh, link is uh, in the description you can just see that and then that single pass instance uh, rendering and custom shaders you need to update a few lines of code here First is update vertex input attribute instructs. So every shaders will follow some sort of a standard. So let's say this is uh, some properties, right? And then it will come down. And then in this app data, uh, which is here, is a struct, right? And then uh, what it says is insert this line of code here. I mean, this documentation is for the, the sh custom shaders in overall it's not just for this uh, app, this water system that we have for any type of custom shaders you can just apply these changes so you need to insert this one and then in the v2f also you can insert this line of code so this is for the input and output and there is also another line of code here, which is this one again. So uh, we should be cautious about how we copy and paste this line of codes because let's say it says after this V2F, then we should copy and paste this and before this O point vertex. If I just simply copy and paste them there after this, then see what will happen is the water is not showing right so but what we need to do is just 
move them here so now you can see the water is here so i have changed already i believe that the single pass yeah so now if you if i just play it then it's in the left eye and in the right eye also we can see that the same objects and also in the both eyes you can see this nice very nice water so we solved the, the problems thank you very much for watching this tutorial